Today I'm going to show you how to quickly recap a Macintosh PowerBook 140, 145, 145B, 160 and similar um, display. Now I took off the display out of the PowerBook. Uh, we, we got quite a few of them that need, to be, that need to be replaced. And as you can see we've got nine of those capacitors here which are 3.3 um, microfarads, 35 volts. We've got a 22 microfarad, 35 volt, and a 100 microfarad, 6 volt. Now, I've already replaced with success uh, the capacitors onto this computer here. As you can see now, uh, there are radials, but I still use the SMDs, electrolytics, for the 3.3s and it works beautifully but this time I'm still gonna use radials for the big for the two big ones but I'm gonna try surface mount uh, ceramics and that's because it's uh, they they don't leak this is the code and hopefully everything will be all good now let's start separating the display panel from the assembly. Um, I usually pick up a pair of pliers and start twisting those little bits here. It's hard to do one-handed, but like this. So just twist them all out, and then uh, we'll start removing the outer frame. Once you removed all of those tabs, you will flip the display. The other way and you can see now the frame will come off there we go this is the frame put it in a safe place and now this is where the hard part uh, comes in you must lift out the display from its assembly so we're gonna take out this panel here and sometimes it's stuck and it's very very hard to to remove don't uh, uh, touch those points here because they're extremely fragile so I usually uh, use the corners of the display to lift it up so let's give that a try or if you're lucky you can twist the display back down again shake it and hopefully ooh, I think it's working this time you will be able to separate the two and as you can see now it also is coming off and there we go this is the display panel this is the assembly we just need to realign the films on here and then we'll just clean it and put it in a safe place and uh, it's now time to start removing those capacitors, so we'll move to the lab. So I'm in my lab, and uh, uh, I've secured the display so that no debris will scratch it. And you can clearly see here all the gunk that came off of those capacitors. So that definitely needs. Uh, some recapping. I'm gonna start with the two big ones and then we'll move and do the small one. Uh, let's fire up the soldering iron and uh, let's go. Alright, so let's remove the old capacitors. Let's start with the 100 microfarads. I'm just gonna wiggle it until it breaks, hopefully without lifting any pad. Perfect. You see it's off. And then I'm just gonna use some Q tip with some alcohol to clean the pads and what's around it. Again, be very, very, very gentle. So now I just got my soldering iron. And I'm just gonna remove the old tabs. And tin. Alright. So 
see, it was quite a lot of gunk because. Alright. Because. As you can see, there's some residue around the pad. That's all the junk that was onto this, onto it. You should remove the all the solder that was on the pad, but using a desoldering gun or a desoldering strip on such a fragile thing, uh, I don't think I think it will break the break some of the connections to the panel. So this is a fairly hard process. So if you're a beginner, I don't think that's for you. Uh, let me just search for the 100 microfarads, which is this one here. I'm going to pick up my pliers and we're going to bend it as low as we can. Like this. So it won't stick out later on. You don't want to bend it too low because then it's going to be pretty much impossible uh, to solder it down but just as low as possible and um, yeah I think that's a pretty good height so I'm just gonna pick up my soldering iron and then the positive is marked so it's quite difficult to get it wrong so I'm just getting it nice and aligned So, come on, we can do it. And there we go. All right, we did it. It's on, it's nice and safe. Yeah, perfect. It's now on, it's not wiggling. No pads lifted, and uh, that's pretty much perfect. I'm going to do the same thing for the 22 microfarad now. So I've now got both the 22 and the 100 microfarads uh, uh, capacitor soldered the right way in. So it's now time to do the smaller ones. I'm going to start with uh, those three here. Uh, it's still pretty much the same procedure. It's just you just got to be something like 300 times more careful. So just going to wiggle them and remove them. Just don't want to rip any anyone any of those pads because well they're quite big but I don't want to check my luck. Also here I've tried cleaning what was around here and that's definitely capaci capacitor gunk. So yeah, all right, we've removed them. So now I'm just gonna add some flux to help clean the. Um, the pads. You don't need to add a lot of them because then you you will have to clean it. So just a little little amount. It's good enough. And uh, let's go. Just add. That's one, this one here, it's in really, really bad conditions. As you can see, I need to scrape off the junk that was onto it. And now, as you can see, it's back and shiny again. Man, this one here was in really bad conditions. But now it's good again. Perfect. Unfortunately, this one here is bad. I don't know where it goes. Oh, it goes right here. All right, good. And yeah, as you can see, they just get super, super shiny. Let me just try and see if I can just go ahead and suck. And suck the solder. So now we just, got, we just have nice and clean pads. Perfect. So 
and just gonna tin them. So it's gonna add a very very small amount of solder to them. All right. Then uh, let's get the small, super super small SMD capacitors. I'm gonna start with one. And just peel off the tape. Hopefully without stripping it off and so that none of them will fall. Up, will fall. Here it is. Uh, let's put them this way in. I use my super super small pliers to grip it, and then we'll place it down here. You can clearly see how tiny that is. And how hard it is to place down. <laughs> okay, so one side is soldered. So I just do the other one. Ooh, it loves to go everywhere. Alright, great. I think I've soldered the first one. Let's see how it looks. This nice and lovely chunky block. So I'm gonna do the rest for all of the capacitors and then we'll see if uh, ceramics do work as good as electrolytics do. So as you can see I've done the first batch of three and it seems like the best way to um, solder them is to first tin the two sides of the capacitor then place down the capacitor and solder it down. Uh, it's uh, way, way more easier than uh, um, tinning the pad first. Finally finished uh, recapping the display. As you can see now, those two ones are popping out. And we've got ceramics. All nice and soldered in. And I'm just gonna, and, uh, I'm just gonna swap the display and see if it worked, finger cr fingers crossed. Let's go. Oh, I see something. Oh, look at that. Please, yes. It's brilliant. And see, we got the display back. Uh, it's all intact. That's amazing. And it's really, really sharp. There is very little ghosting. But very, very little if we just jam it up. Yeah, it's working. I think it's working even better than the one with the electrolytics, to tell you the truth. But I'm so, so satisfied. It's just working beautifully. Wow. That's perfect. I'm so, so happy. Thank you for watching.